Being that it's summertime, we felt that it would be exciting to um, give you summer tips. This is lovely. Give you summer oh, tips. Oh, here, hold so on, Chris. I wrote it for you. Hold on. You wrote me in a whole intro? Yeah, here, read that. You might remember our next guest from uh, our Halloween episode last year. We haven't seen him for a while, but he called us <laughs> this week because he's concerned about beach safety. <laughs> so now, live via satellite from the beach, is our favorite cop. Lieutenant Tewilliger. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Tewilliger, Tewilliger, everybody! Yeah. Wow. Okay. He's at the and, beach! Lieutenant, I have to say, first off, that's a lovely tan you have. <laughs> like it very much. It's lovely. Yeah, it's a little painful, but... Uh, <laughs> How did know. that happen? It's sort of like a white trash tan. Well, basically, um, you know, the fellows down the precinct, they're jokesters, and, um, well, they kind of... And instead of my usual uh, suntan lotion, they replaced it with some cooking oil, and uh, essentially, uh, I'm kind of burnt to a uh, crisp. Uh, my tender areas you know are more tender. I think it'll blend. Well, I hope so. You're bronze. So, so you know what? I think what we should do is, uh, while we're talking to Lieutenant Twilliger, maybe we want to put up the chiron of the phone number here at Gripe Live Television, and people can call in and talk to Lieutenant Twilliger. If while they I have any questions Please about uh, beach safety, Absolutely. and our number is uh, two four seven eight zero nine zero. That's 247-8090. Call now. Be safe. Okay. So, Lieutenant Twilliger, yeah. I wrote it down. Hold on. What precinct are you from? Uh, from the Fort Hills precinct. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's, that's a safe neighborhood. Okay. So, um, why don't you give us, while we're waiting for some phone calls, uh, some beach tips? Some well, tips. essentially, as you can, oh, as you can see, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, you're out working and uh, you get some uh, burning in the uh, central areas that are not covered by your uh, clothing. So, essentially... Um, I have here a quick little tip here. Uh, just take an extra uh, shirt, you know, and uh, cut the sleeves off. And essentially, what you can do is tan the other areas. That's very important. Hey, you know, Lieutenant Twilliger, the fun thing I find the most interesting is the beach doesn't seem to move behind you. Are those people yeah. uh, wading in the water and well, something you know, exciting a moving to happen? beach is a dangerous beach, so essentially, I've told uh, the beach to calm down. <laughs> you do have that. What power. other kind of tips do you have for us, Lieutenant Twilliger? Well, as you can see, oh. Uh, the neckle area here has been burned terribly, right. as well as my scalp, which is also extremely tender, runs in the family. So essentially, a good idea is perhaps to have a bag when right. you're out in the sun. Cover yourself up like so. <laughs> and uh, Is that wait, safe? What? Is that safe to put a bag over your head? <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. So I left Lieutenant Twilliger is coming back to life. All Listen, right. Lieutenant Twilliger, let's take one more phone call, and then we're going to go to a special well, video. Lieutenant Twilliger, are you there? You there, caller? Hi. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Do you have a question for Lieutenant Twilliger? Yeah, I want to know how he has his badge stuck to his chest. <laughs> it, the pin is in his flesh, I think. Go ahead. I'm wondering where the blood is. I'm a little concerned, and my safety tip for him is get a band-aid, dude. Yeah, exactly. Dude. Lieutenant You're... Twilliger, do you mind explaining? Well, essentially, it's all part of the job. <laughs> part Great. of the job? Part of the job, absolutely. There's a special kind of cop. You have to essentially uh, be inured to pain and also know when not to swing the baton. Well, I would also like to know another question here. Yeah, um, absolutely. Shoot. You know, I'm a big fan of Baywatch, and uh, yeah. looking at you, it kind of reminds me of Baywatch. Can Ooh. you show us um, absolutely. your strokes? <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's very nice. Listen, okay, listen. Um, Lieutenant Thank Twilliger, you, we're going to check back wait, in wait. with you later. What? All right. So, <laughs> Lieutenant Twilliger, is there something else you wanted to show us, wasn't there? Uh, yes. Um, about maybe looking more masculine at the beach? Well, yes. I mean, at the beach, you know, you, you don't want to get into any violent infractions, but essentially, you know, the best defense... Who are you looking at, Lieutenant Twilliger? I'm just looking at the beach. Oh. <laughs> All right. I mean, I don't understand. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I'm on beach patrol. All right. All the time. So essentially, you know, uh, a man, his best defense is uh, essentially having a good six-pack. And I don't mean drinking a six-pack. Of course I mean not. having a six-pack. So essentially, um, I have here a, a someone, a nice young lady that I've met here on the beach who has helped me out. If you don't have a six-pack like I tend to do, uh, what you can do is essentially draw one on here. Oh, wow. well, look at that. All so of a sudden, you have definition. It's not necessarily a six-pack. Uh, <laughs> look at the definition. You oh, there we wow. go. Yeah. Wow. It's beautiful. As you can see. That I really don't understand, but oh, it's terrific. And already I'm intimidating. Yes. Uh, intimidating force on the beach. You are definitely that. As Lieutenant you can say, back off, buddy. Listen, Lieutenant, <laughs> let's take some phone calls while you get your makeup work yes. done. Oh. Phone call, phone call, are you there? Uh -huh. Hello, Hello, are you there? Yeah, I'm saying your phone is really good. Thank you. What do you have in your mouth? Uh -huh. What do you have in your mouth? I'm uh -huh. 
Oh, oh yeah. And so you took time to call us. Right. Didn't your mother ever teach you to chew your food before speaking? Yes. Oh, okay. You have any questions for <laughs> Lieutenant Twilliger? Your show is really good. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you I hope you the best. Thanks. Great. Man. Terrific. Thank, thank you. For your meal. Right. Thank you very much. Call you there. Oh, you guys doing tonight? Great show. Good. Great show. Thanks a lot. Uh, when you for the guy getting your cream shoved on his nipples, takes it in the ass? <laughs> oh well, yeah. I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> no, I do not think so. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for your call. Now. All right. Take Bye -bye. care. <laughs> call you there. Yeah, I'm here. All right. You got a question for Lieutenant Tuller? Yeah. Why did you choose boxers over uh, brief? Yeah. Why did you? There, Lieutenant. Well, essentially, you know, to wear uh, briefs would be a, a little bit too intimidating. Right. So, uh, essentially, we wear something. As, I don't know if you can Why see this. Why do you this. have this the is, handcuffs there? Is, yeah, what uh, do those handcuffs signify? It's a government issue here. <laughs> uh, this, the handcuffs uh, signify, um, essentially, justice. Right. Yeah. That's